Hi. The Illuminati is real. Today I am going to be debunking some conspiracy theories. I don't know if you remember, you probably do. There was a little phase on the internet where everyone was like, ah, oh, conspiracy theories, don't believe anything they tell you. And I did partake in that two times. But now I'm like, hmm, I don't actually believe like any of them. And um, I'm gonna debunk some. I'm gonna try. Bear in mind, this isn't me saying, oh, this isn't real, bleh. Believe everything the government tells you, eat your vegetables. No, that's not me doing that. This is me just like finding some evidence, finding some proof on the internet that could disprove, debunk these conspiracy theories. I don't necessarily believe in all of this stuff and like believe in the debunkingness, but it's just some stuff I found. It's some stuff that maybe you'd like to think in your brain. <laughs> don't fight with me. So the first one I'm going to try and attempt to debunk, which I'm sure is the reason all of you are here, you gotta get those views, Kira, is the Mandela Effect. Here we go again. Now I did my research and the one I'm going to try and debunk today is the mirror mirror on the wall thing from Snow White. Now when I heard about this, I thought, well, it's like either of them. I've heard people say both. I've heard people say magic mirror on the wall, and I've heard people say mirror mirror on the wall, because that's a conspiracy theory. You know, you know what? You, mm -hmm. This Mandela effect is that it has changed from being mirror mirror on the wall to now being magic mirror on the wall, but that isn't the case. The original Brothers Grimm story of Snow White does translate into mirror mirror on the wall. That's what the very original story says, mirror mirror on the wall. Still says that to this day. Now that is probably the story you remember your parents telling you as you were a kid. Or like people like, I don't know, children doing children things. Going like mirror mirror, I don't know why they'd say that but like, you know what I mean? I That's what I always thought. You know, it's the easiest phrase for a child to say and kids tend to like repetition. But then Disney went along and made a movie. Now Disney has a tendency to alter the original stories from whoever wrote them into the their own thing so they can take all of the credit because Disney's a bitch I don't trust them so in the Disney movie they changed it to magic mirror on the wall but that doesn't change the fact the original story still says mirror mirror on the wall Disney just wanted to like shake things up and for the people saying no 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 in the Disney movie it was always mirror mirror no it wasn't that's what I thought as well so don't come back with the whole oh yeah but millions of people have this whole experience with other thing no Disney literally just changed it that's what they did. And there are things like, it's a really old movie, the audio may be like, not quite clear as you were today. It's really hard to sort of like make out what everyone's saying. Like in that particular scene, there's like music and like big dramatic things. And a child watching it probably just skips that part in his brain and goes, it says mirror, mirror on the wall because that's just the easiest thing to say. And you've probably heard it before. Children don't pick up tiny little details like that. I don't think, if this wasn't the Mandela effect and this wasn't like, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm just gonna jump on a coat tells of this thing for link views, then I'm sure you wouldn't have noticed it either. That's just my, you know. So yeah, I hope you can go from that. And there is a really good website and it shows you like possible explanations for conspiracy theories. For example, the next one, Chick-fil-A one. Now this isn't definitive proof that this isn't real. And one example of why a lot of people thought it said Chick as in C-H-I-C and instead of C-H-I-C-K is because on the packaging of a lot of their food, the K gets cut out and it gets put into like the fold. I don't know if you know what that means. I can't relate to this one because obviously we don't have that in like the humble land of England where the queen reigns and we all just like drink tea from lakes, you know. I will link the website and you can go and watch it for yourself because <laughs> the next conspiracy theory I'm going to be attempting to debunk is the JFK assassination and wow the US government's gonna love me after this one apparently according to some surveys 59% of Americans still believe JFK assassination is a whole conspiracy now this doesn't disregard the fact that there may still be a conspiracy surrounding these things especially things like the moon landing which I'm gonna get on to but it may not be the conspiracy theory you think it is it may not be the most popular one it might not be like the one that everyone is like oh my gosh yeah the aliens killed JFK but it may be something else do you know what I mean this is yeah now, if you don't know about the JFK assassination, you can watch a video of it, which I have watched a multitude of times and I'm kind of scarred, but like, kind of a freak. On November 22nd, 19... 
63. <laughs> oh gosh. <gasps> Exposed. President John F. Kennedy, what does the F stand for? I don't know. Was riding in a car, like an open top car, through Texas. So, like, everyone could look at him and be like, hey, President, that's you. Like, you're our president. Cool. Bye. I don't get it. But yeah, that happened. Until they heard some gunshots and boom, he was dead. Boy. Boom. Pew, pew. Now, the conspiracy theory surrounding this surrounds the little bullet that, like, shot him. A guy called Lee Harvey Oswald was held guilty and I think shot down for the assassination of JFK. But a lot of people question this. There is a conspiracy theory called the magic bullet conspiracy theory that says the position they were sitting, that was impossible from where Oswald was standing to have been able to shoot him. So people start to think, hmm, who did it? Was it the aliens? Was it E.T.? Was it a Nazi base on the moon? Was it the government? Was it Kylie Jenner? I don't know. But a lot of people started to say, due to the position they were sitting in, in the car with the driver in front of JFK and JFK behind him, I'm gonna add a diagram because I'm really bad at explaining, that it technically it wouldn't have been possible for the bullet to go around multiple directions and change directions midair, which defies the laws of everything in the whole universe. Also wound the driver and then kill the president behind him. <laughs> However, in that diagram i just shown you, the conspiracy theory people, I don't know who makes them, who drew that up assumed that the driver and JFK were at equal height. But no, you were wrong, bitch, you thought. Where JFK was sitting in the back of the car, he was elevated and the driver was sat like down here. So this is JFK, this is him, because no one wants to see the driver, everyone wants to see the president. But, you know, like, although I'm sure there were a few people cheering on the underdog, but like, you know. But no, JFK had to be risen because, you know, he was just casually the president, you know, casually the president. He's not sitting at equal height to those peasants, no, because he's like really casually the president. Also, the conspiracy theorists must have assumed that JFK and the driver were both sitting facing forward in their car. But no, their bodies were turned and they were waving at all their cheering fans and cheering dirt poor peasant civilians that had come to see them, you know, like, so once you look at it from that way, the driver's down here, JFK's up here and their bodies are both turned in some way, the bullet from where Oswald is standing just goes straight through them and it like makes no sense but it does so I guess that's the magic bullet theory debunked that it didn't just twist in the air that it literally just went straight through both of them like cool <laughs> the next conspiracy theory I'm going to attempt to debunk is 9-11 now a lot of people like to say that the Twin Towers fell at free fall speed which is untrue because a lot of people like to say the government put some sort of explosives in there blew it all up and then they fell really fast but I don't buy that. Of course I'm not saying that there isn't some sort of government involvement in 9-11 because I don't know, there may have been. But I'm just saying I really don't think they planted bombs inside of the Twin Towers to make them fall down at free fall speed because bitch they didn't fall down at free fall speed and I'm gonna tell you why. Nine seconds. Line. It's physically impossible. When you look at videos of the Twin Towers falling, you can see it looks like they're falling incredibly fast. Free fall speed. But when you look again, you realise they aren't because you can see debris falling off of the Twin Towers, falling faster than the Twin Towers themselves are collapsing. Now these objects are going to be falling at free fall at free fall speed because they're just plummeting through the air. The Twin Towers, when they collapsed, they have to work their way down. And a lot of people expected the buildings to have tipped over, to have crumbled into a big mush. But that's not how the buildings were engineered. They were engineered to withstand things like this. Those kind of buildings in the biggest cities in the world 
can't just be like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna put a huge building here and if something goes wrong, it's just gonna kill everyone. Like, great, it's fine. No, they have to put full and F into it and they need to always prepare for the worst. The Twin Towers were designed that if something was to happen to them, that they would collapse like this. They would go straight down rather than just tipping over and killing everyone. Now, I've known this for a really long time because I have, like, such an interest in buildings, but that's, like, a whole other thing. But a lot of people don't know this. And I'm like, when I hear this theory, I'm like, how stupid could you be? Do I think there's some exterior involvement apart from some crazy terrorists who want to kill everyone in 9-11? Most definitely. But do I think that the government planted bombs inside the Twin Towers so they would fall down and fall off free school feed even though they didn't? I can't say free school. No. Now, another one I would like to debunk is one I'm sure a lot of people are probably interested in seeing, right? And that is the moon landing conspiracy theory. I very much do think there is something going on with the moon landing. And I talked about this in another video where I talked about the moon landing conspiracy theory. And I gave you the facts, I gave you all the stuff I found out about how the moon landing could have been faked. And then I said, I don't really buy this, I'm going to try and debunk it. Here you go. Now, in some pictures of Neil Armstrong putting the American flag into the moon's ground, like, I'm sure the moon appreciated that, you can see the fabric of the... You can see the fabric of the flag kind of, like, waving in the wind, but there is no air on the moon, so what is it waving in? There is a very extremely simple explanation to this, which I think people are just like too stupid or just like want something to be scared about. NASA designed the American flag so that when they put it up, it would extend out and the flag would droop down from it. So it just didn't just hang there, just sort of like groping, wrapping itself around the pole, just looking like a complete idiot. However, on the way up to the moon, casually, the flag got really like wrinkled up inside of its case. So when they pulled it out, the flag was wrinkled at the bottom. Just so happened, it looked good and it looked epic and that's it. It was just a wrinkled flag, there was no air, there was just wrinkles on the flag. <laughs> Another theory is that there is this rock with a C on it, as you can see, I will show an image of it right here. And everyone was like, well, that must be a prop. Why would you just like leave that there with the C on it? So it must be a prop, you know? That must be like, hey, this is rock C, put it there in place for rock C. You know what I mean? But then I think, are you sure they would really hire someone that stupid to fake the moon landing? They're, they're the government. They can be kind of stupid sometimes. Though. Anyway, but to have that many flaws in a plan would be ridiculous. Now the moon landing's like super old so they have those tape things and they're like pieces of paper or whatever and you put them in the thing and it reads it. On this particular part where the rock is shown there was a hair that resembles some kind of like armpit hair, nose hair, I don't know, where the rock was and it just looks like it says Roxy. It just happened to be in a very unfortunate place and it just showed up sorry. That is it today for the debunking conspiracy video and honestly my brain kind of hurts. It was, it's a lot of learning. If there are any other conspiracy theories you want me to debunk, let me know. I will do them as soon as possible. This was kind of fun, kind of difficult. I, I'm just lazy. I'm sorry about the lack of videos. I My laptop is obviously fixed now if I'm making this video. I hope you liked this. I hope it was good for your brain and let me know some more stuff you want me to do. Subscribe and follow me on my social media. I always forget that. Okay. Like the video. Get it to 69,000 likes to save the Illuminati. What? Bye.